Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to my group balancing sessions. And it's me, Miss Fox. How is everybody doing? I'm just enjoying the lovely weather that we're having today in Los Angeles. And um, today we're going to go over some energy exercises. I had a really great um, balancing session last week. So thank you to everybody that came online and asked me questions. It was really helpful. And um, I got a lot of good responses on Facebook. So thank you, everybody. <laughs> and um, let's see. Today we're going to work on what I the crown, the crown area. Now I explained this to you guys last week. Um, it's um, chakras, okay? Chakras, they're energy portals that go along, you know, the middle of our bodies. And the crown chakra, which is the seventh chakra because chakras go from one through seven. And these are just the major chakras we're talking about because there's a lot of chakras that are intertwined you know with that but the major chakras are what we focus on um, because that really has our you know our life energy and it moves around in a spiral shape you know throughout different parts of your body so the crown chakra is the one that is connected to you know your intuition your wisdom with the world you know it, it just brings you connected with universal energy um, it helps you with you know, um, your inner and outer beauty, like really seeing the true meaning of beauty and love. So when you're feeling like, you know, you're just disconnected and you need a way to, to just feel less stressed and like you want to feel like, you know, just like that energy has been lifted off your shoulders. Um, a good way to do this is you we're doing it we go like this you put your fingers around your head and then what this is doing is activating your cells your neuron cells that are in your head and it's it's helping it get activated and you know move around your chakra so that the energy you know gets moving and so you don't feel stagnant now, after you do that, just go all around your head like this. You just put your fingers towards the middle, and you just pull. Slight pull. Just like the third chakra, except we're on the crown chakra. So, you just pull and just keep going. You start from the forehead like I showed you, and you keep going, keep going down. Keep pulling, keep pulling until you get to the base of the neck. Okay, and then you hold this and then you go back up it's like pulling, pulling. and what you're doing is you're getting you, you know your left and your right side of your brain active and making it really feel the energy and so that the energy is opening up and the chakra is receiving that energy and you can do this you know five to ten times just back and forth you know how whatever makes you feel better and, and when you start to feel like okay I'm feeling like 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 you know lighter and 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 just close your eyes and just receive the information you know, don't search for your thoughts that that's the thing you don't want to search you know when you your mind is already you know moving fast and the thoughts are already moving from the subconscious to the conscious to the unconscious. So you don't have to put too much thought into things. You know, that is the hardest thing for us to do as humans because we are conscious beings and we focus on that because, you know, our senses and everything are on the outside and they focus on the now and the conscious. So what we want to do, you know, is delve into the subconscious and that is why you're you know you're doing this action because you want the inside of you to get activated okay <laughs> that's just one exercise there's plenty of them um, but you know we're gonna go over them every week different ones so 
that is the crown exercise I'll show you guys one more time how to do it and then we'll move on to another one and that's you just put your hands to first move your hands around get it all activated and then you meet in the middle and you just slightly pull like that Mm, feels good. It, it really, it really relieves the stress and tension. Also, okay. Now you can also remember, like I told you guys last week, um, remember to breathe. It, breathing brings in the oxygen so that your brain is getting fed, you know, the nutrients that it needs. That's how your brain works. It works with oxygen and water. So drinking water also helps brings in bring in the oxygen, you know, to feed the brain. So drink plenty of water. Um, I suggest drinking water before and after you do balancing sessions because it just it's a good way to get you activated and it's you know it's a good conductor for electricity. And when you're doing these energy balancing sessions. You want to be your. You want the energy inside of your mind to be open, and you want it to be active. Okay, I know that you feel relaxed and you're on a certain brain wave when you're doing balancing, but there are neurons in your brain that are active in certain areas, and that is why you feel calm and you know you're able to get insight. Okay, so. I'm going to go over another thing that I talked about last week, which was the thymus gland exercise. And this, I want to go over this again because I had questions about this. And what is important to understand is we have glands and organs in our body. And they're all connected to different chakras and different, um, you know, ac acupuncture points. So this is actually a type of acupuncture point which you're doing when you're doing this tapping okay so like I said before you just you could tap it with one hand you could tap it with two hands um, it doesn't really matter long as you feel a, a vibration and this vibration is making the t-cells get activated and is is um, making your thymus Oh, I see a question. Um, what does the thymus do? Good question. Good question. The thymus gland produces T cells, which um, go to your immune system and make your immune system more active. So, if you have an illness or any type of disease, you want these T cells to go and be active and go attack those negative. Um, viruses or you know negative cells and even stress you know it can relieve stress because stress can be a disease if it's constant you know when you when you're addicted to stress over and over again it can become a disease and start to atrophy your brain and your bone brittle your bones and your body and and also your thymus gland will shrink you know so you don't want your thymus gland to shrink and it shrinks when you're sick it shrinks when you're unhappy it shrinks when you're stressed out so we want to be aware of this and do it daily you know it, it doesn't take that long you can you know eventually you'll do it so often that it'll be a habit for you to do it and this is a good habit because you want your body to you know be unstressed it, we have so much stress on our lives daily you know, we can't get around that. That's just the way, it, you know, our lives and our society is set up. So in order to relieve some of this tension, you have to learn, you know, how to heal yourself in certain ways. Okay. And like I said before, this is a great way to get that thymus gland activated. And thank you for the question. Also, <laughs> um, there, I, I often tell my clients to take energy breaks okay energy breaks it can be from one minute to five minutes to ten minutes it just depends on how you know if you can be at work or like what you're doing it just depends on what you're doing um, but if you're in a stressful situation take an energy break you know 
I always tell them, you know, just just start to think of something that makes you really, really happy. And 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 don't think of any other thoughts but that thought. Breathe in all the positive healing energy and breathe out any blocks that are bothering you. And just keep doing that. Breathe in, breathe out, visualizing it coming and leaving. That's very important. Visualizing is a great way to get your you know your imagination going and this imagination that we have is it work one it works wonders okay it attracts anything that you can think of it will attract that you know our imagination helps you become creative it helps you see things in a different light you know sometimes we feel like we're living the same life over and over and over and that's just because we're not using our imagination and we're not seeing how so many things can be different we could be in the same environment but we can we have different things you know going on around us so it's all about searching and finding those things that make you happy and i i emphasize on making you happy don't depend on what other people are happy or what other people um what makes them happy or what they see you or how they see you as being happy because it's really all about your true desires and your true energy inside okay let's see do i have any other question is it better to balance yourself outside in nature or in your house good good question okay um nature is wonderful nature gives us positive energy it gives us growth it gives us healing energy I always go outside and I, I look at the trees and the plants and I thank them for giving us oxygen and making us feel, you know, alive, basically. And so nature is a good place to do balancing. If you can, you know, take your, your blanket and lay in a park or the beach. The beach is a nice place because you have a natural rhythm of the, sand, of the water, you know, splashing and going. It has its own... Um, cycle of like a, a soothing energy so it will put your own body you know which you you know you're made out of water here or your body is have 70 percent water so and it's been around your your the water in your body has been around millions of years so this water in your body knows how to attune itself you know get in tune with the ocean and um all the water around you so that's a great place to do balancing you can also do balancing in your home I love do I do it every morning so it's a great place to do balancing also and um, it's because you know you feel comfortable at home it's a one it has all of your energy there also the benefits of balancing at home you balance the environment around you at the same time that you're balancing yourself and this is key because your environment can affect, you know, your balancing. It can affect you. It, you know, say you're trying your hardest, you know, you balance yourself in your friend's house, but you come home and that energy, and it, you know, it triggers you to think about the negative things at home, bills, because that energy is still there, you know, that you left there. So... It is a good place to do it in your house so that, you know, everything, the air around you and the aura around the things that you possess, those things can also get balanced. Okay, um, I'm going to go over chakras again just in case, you know, anybody missed last week or, you know, just this is what we're going to do every week anyway is do a chakra um even if it's just one chakra just so you guys could start getting a feel of these chakras and you're able to do them yourself and also for my one-on-one -on -one clients this is for you guys so that you can see you know if you're just talking to me on the phone or chatting with me this is an opportunity for you to see how you know I act how I'm describing it and see if you're doing it right okay so we're going to work on your heart chakra and I want to work on the heart chakra today um, it's my birthday tomorrow so I'm I'm just feeling at peace right now and I really want to balance my heart chakra 
so I could feel, you know, soak in all the love and compassion and really start this new year for me off, you know, the right way. So thank you. Thank you for telling me happy birthday. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and start on your heart chakra. It's located right here. And this chakra is for compassion, love, affection, self-love. I mean, that's so important. It's important to love yourself. I, I stress this, you know, I talk to people every day on Facebook and I really let them know that love, loving yourself isn't selfish, you know, it's not arrogance, we're not talking about arrogance, we're talking about self-love and desire, you know, for your own self, because without that, you can't share love without other people, you know, you, you can't give love without having love inside of you you're the core you have to be the core of the love so you have to give yourself love you know hug yourself i hug myself every day you know just i mean it's not it's it has nothing to do with feeling you know like you're better than others because i don't i love everybody i feel like i love myself so much that it just overflows for me and, and makes me able to give and give and give love to people that aren't even, you know, accepting it. But I still give it. You know, that's, it just fills me up. So it's important to love yourself. Remember that. Okay. So think about that as we're doing your chakra, your heart chakra. Okay. Now we're going to start with your right hand. I always start with, you know, you can do any hand you want. There is no rules. Let me tell you that first of all. There aren't any rules. These are just ways that are easy for me, you know, and that I have found that are easy for my clients and it really makes them feel good and it transfers the energy fast. Okay, so you take the right hand and you go counterclockwise. Okay, so you're going like this. You can do this with your eyes open or closed, whatever makes, you know, you feel like you're focusing better. If your eyes are open, I say just look at one thing and focus on that thing. Don't, you know, roam your eyes or look around. Just focus. Okay, you're going to go counterclockwise. And as you're doing the counterclockwise, you're going to think of all of the energy being unblocked. And all of anything that's getting in the way of your self-love and compassion for your self and inner joy. All of that or, you know, anything, any blocks that's been making you feel unworthy or, you know, not appreciated. All of those things are being a block. Because you know that you're number one in it. You're the most important person. Now when you're doing this, you know, do it for however long it makes you feel more comfortable. But as you're doing this, you might feel like a warm feeling and that is good. That means this area is healing. Just keep thinking of love and, and how wonderful you are and all the beautiful things in life. You can even smile. I always tell people to smile during the heart chakra because it really makes you feel the joy. <laughs> okay. Now you take that hand and you remember, shake it off, shake it off. You always shake off that negative blocking energy. Okay. And now we're going to go with the left hand. Okay. Now the left hand, we're going to go clockwise. And as you're going clockwise, you're going to think about all of the energy being smoothed out. Okay. All of the energy that has been blocked or stagnant, it's all being smoothed out. 
You're feeling free. You're feeling open. You're feeling affectionate. You're, you're loving yourself and you're loving others. And, and nothing's going to stop you from sharing the love and feeling the love. Remember, smile. This is a great way. It gives you that good feeling inside, a genuine love energy. It's very important to focus on your feeling at this time. Okay. Shake it off. Now just hug yourself. Okay. You're going to relax. Great, great. Oh, I see a question. What does smoothing out energy do? Great question again. You guys are great tonight. <laughs> um, the What it does, it, it basically, okay, your energy, it moves in the spiral. And it also moves in an affinity sign, like, like the number eight. You know, like the sideways eight. It moves like that all through up and down your body okay so when this is not doing this that means it's unsmooth it's it's rigid it's rocky you know it's it's not comfort so that is why you'll feel stress you'll feel heavy everything feels like it's being pulled down so you want to smooth the energy out you want it to flow in an even balanced pace through your body and through your chakras and through your aura that you know surrounds your body you want this energy to be smooth because then it can flow if it's not smooth if it's rocky rigid you feel pain you feel just all the negative things in life you will get so I hope that answers your question thank you um, I love your insight this is why I do these sessions because I you know I want to give a better understanding I'm, I'm I'm talking about it all the time, but I know it's better when people see a visual and they're able to ask me questions and, um, you know, you get a better understanding. Also, um, for you guys that don't know, if you want to get more information about my balancing sessions or my one-on-one -on -one sessions, you can check out my website at www.fitoverdrive.com. Um, I'm on there. I'm talking a little bit about what I do and how, what energy is so you know everyone go in there check it out you can also sign up to my um, my weekly inspirational emails It's free you just sign your email up and I'll keep in contact with you guys and give you little tips along the way and it will be great also before we go we only have about five more minutes left but I wanted to and um, talk a little bit more about that infinity sign that I was talking about okay so so have you guys ever um, have you guys ever doodled okay doodling is your mind's way of searching for an answer it's searching it, okay because the way your body moves it has a lot of energy in it so when it wants an answer or it wants to be creative or think of a new idea it starts to doodle so what I do is there's this little exercise that you basically you act like you're doodling with your finger and you make you form the number eight now you can just do it small number eights you could do big number eights basically what you're doing is you're making an infinity sign and as you're doing these infinity infinity signs or eights you're 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 making your brain and your neurons also do infinity signs and eights so it's moving the energy now through your whole body and coordinating your energy so that it's making that infinity sign and it's making your energy get more balanced you know so this is also a good way to make sure your energy is crossing right because when your energy isn't crossing with that infinity sign you can also get blocked and you can also feel stressed and drained so there's a, that's another um, this is another exercise that you do really quickly um, you can do it for a minute five minutes 
whatever makes you feel good you can do it even for a couple of seconds if you just you know if you're feeling just a little uh, nervous or you know you need some kind of good feeling inside just do that really quickly and you'll you'll see your body starts to feel lighter and <laughs> and it'll start to move correctly and so that you won't be blocked you know, that's the, that's very important when your energy is blocked it causes all the stress in your life you know it makes you feel uneasy and you know you you think oh my god what's wrong with me there has to be a problem but there's not a problem trust me you you know we're we're humans we can't help you know but be who we are but we can work with our own energy every day to be the best people that we can be you know don't don't worry about if you're good or bad or you're doing it right you know do it how what feels right for you you know i'm just giving you tips so that you understand the actual science you know behind how your energy goes in your body so these are just little tips that will get you going and keep you going through the week you know um so again we talked about your crown chakra remember this is a good way when you, you know you feel like you're just blocked you can't figure out you need a solution you need a you know answer to a question just keep asking the universe to send you that energy to make you know to connect you to make you more aware and you'll start to see signs around you signs little things will start to you know show up in your life and, and you'll 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 and you'll know it's for you you'll know it's for you because you'll feel it inside pay attention to your inner feelings that's very important um, your inner feelings tell you more than anyone can tell you on the outside you know I tell everybody I'm a guide because I want to guide you to understand yourself you know if, you know people can teach you it, they can teach you all day but you still won't learn so I want to show people to do it for themselves and then when you do it for yourself you will learn it that much quicker you know everything will go smoother it'll run like okay I got this you know so that's the whole the whole point of life is just to be happy and to flow and to you know let enjoy it enjoy the ride that you're on <laughs> I tell everyone it's a roller coaster you know you go up and down but you make sure you're enjoying it you know enjoy joy the ups and the downs because that helps you that helps you see what beauty is if you know if you didn't have the negatives you wouldn't be appreciative and aware of the positives so this is just a way to deal with the negatives that are going to exist in our lives we have no other choice that is what a particle you know negative and positive exists so we have to just learn to balance and not react you know the, the way that we have been taught we have to learn to you know react in a more calming way so that we're not hurting our internal selves okay and the other thing we went over is the heart chakra and we also went over the tap again the thymus tap great and we went over our infinity cross exercise crossing that energy okay yes thank you guys all I appreciate it and thank you guys all for the happy birthdays <laughs> I see everyone telling me happy birthday on the chat I really 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 appreciate it I love you all you know um, before we go let's just all close our eyes and I just want to let you know that I'm sending out all of my love energy healing energy to you guys and I wish the best for your life I wish that you you know get everything that you desire and that you're not stressed and that you learn how to relieve the stress through balancing and I, I just want everybody to be loved and don't feel alone I'm here for you and if you need me I'm on Facebook and I just I love you guys and have a wonderful wonderful week thank you